Since the recent release of Tonex Editor, one of the biggest questions and complaints that I've been receiving is why did the folks over at IK Multimedia remove the librarian tab from Tonex Software and move it to Tonex Editor? I don't know the actual answer to that. I haven't spoken directly to the folks who made that decision or designed it this way, but I actually don't think it is as bad a decision as some people are making it out once we put a little time into this. And today I want to do a video where I'm going to show you a couple different workflows depending on whether we're used to working in Tonex software or whether we're used to working with Tonex pedal and hopefully I can throw some ideas your way today that will get you going in the right direction with a new workflow that will actually be even better than we had it before the editor was released. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to explain to you what my setup is here today. You can see here that I have Tonex pedal on a separate camera so we can see what's going on on it. It's not that that's going to be super important today, but I did want to have that up on camera for you. I have Tonex software and Tonex editor here kind of in a split screen. This is how I like to work with this if I need to do the things that I'm going to show you today. Now I'm basically feeding the analog outputs of Tonex pedal into my audio interface. I have to do that for today's video. I'm also recording my voiceover, but as you're going to see, it's going to allow me to kind of switch on the fly here and show you, regardless of how you're monitoring out of the analog outputs of Tonex pedal, that you can still have these two different workflows work for you. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about those folks who have Tonex software and want to still work in there with a separate audio interface. So I have my audio interface that I all always use here and we'll just click over and I'll show you what I have here, the audio settings. I'm using a Motu Ultralight Mark V. My guitar is going into the mic line instrument input, obviously set to instrument input, and I'm set so that a zero dBU signal will equal minus 11 dBFS, and that would be equivalent to having Tone X pedal set at a global input trim of minus three, where I always have it set. You'll notice that I have the outputs actually going to line out nine and 10. This is not gonna have anything to do with how you are going to set it. You will have to set this for your audio interface and your monitoring system. I have it set this way just for the recording of this video. These are my loopback settings so that I can record this audio. So once we're set up there, we're basically monitoring with Tonex software. Now you might ask, well, why do I have Tonex Editor open? Well, there's a lot of folks who like to work within Tonex software, create their tone model, and then they're mad that the librarian feature isn't there because now they have no way without going over to Tonex Editor to flip that over to their pedal if they want to use that later, let's say at a rehearsal or at a performance. So for today's video, I'm gonna be utilizing some tone models from my latest collection, which is based off of an incredible Victory VX, the Kraken Mark I amplifier, a beautiful high gain amp that I captured through a really great Rev amplification 212 vintage 30 load cabinet. And I'm here on the tone model that represents the second channel at the second level of gain. So really digging those. So let's say that I wanted to work solely within Tonex software. Now keep in mind, as we've already mentioned, I am hooked into Tonex software. I am utilizing my audio interface, and then I can come over here and show you how we can then transfer those once we're happy to our pedal. In this particular situation, we are not actually monitoring on the pedal or playing through the pedal in any way, shape, or form. So let's say I took this, and I've already created a user folder here for something I call Kraken presets. Now one thing to keep in mind, if we have the editor open and we create a new user folder. It seems right now that it won't show up automatically in our Tonex software library unless we restart Tonex editor. Not that big a deal, but hopefully that's something that can be changed in the future. It's something I noticed while messing around, but I've already created my Kraken preset. So let's say I took this preset and I wanted to change things up a bit. Let's say that I wanted to maybe take the first preset that I wanted to load onto the pedal and bring the gain down a little bit and add a little bit of presence to it. Just making some arbitrary changes changes here. Let's see what that sounds like. So I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to save a preset, but I'm going to change the location to this folder that I want them to be located in, which is Kraken presets. And let's just call this uh, JS Kraken Alt 2 to uh, Bright, and we'll put that in that folder there. All right, let's say I want to take the same preset now, but I want to do another version of it with a little more gain, and we're going to add just a little bit of tape delay with the sync turned on, and that's going to sound like this. All 
all right, let's say I'm happy with that and I want to save that and I come up here instead of calling it bright, we'll just put delay after it and we'll save that. So now we see that those are in this folder that I created and I have those two presets that I can compare. Now let's say that we're very happy with that and we want to transfer those over to the pedal. Now the beautiful part is before I would have had to go to a different tab, come out of focus over here where I am working and making my changes to go to the librarian tab, have it sync up with the pedal and transfer those to the pedal. Well now if we work in this split screen way that I'm working right here, we can actually have the librarian open over here on Tonex Editor. And we can actually go up to our little filter button here and you'll notice that if I go to the preset tab that this little crack in presets user folder is right here. When I click on it, I have my new presets auto populate into there. So I can simply click one, hold shift, click the other, and I can drag those right onto my Tonex pedal. Wait for that to sync up. And now they're on my Tonex pedal. And since I know that I have the input trim on the pedal set up the same as I have my audio interface, those are gonna sound identical when I switch over and audition those on the pedal itself. So that's one way of working for those folks who like to work within Tonex software, but are missing the librarian tab. Simply do a split screen like this and any presets or tone models we add to the software library within Tonex software, even if we drag some new ones in here, even if we drag some new ones in here, they're going to auto populate as you can see over here in our software library in our editor and then we can simply just drag those over. So this actually gives us a way of having the librarian open at the same time as Tonex software app, which can be quite handy. Now what about another situation where we want to work on Tonex software but we want to utilize Tonex pedal as an audio interface? Well the really neat thing we can do here is with Tonex editor and having them both open at the same time, I can simply come up here to global setup. You'll notice I have my input trim at minus three. I come over to general and I'm going to make sure that I am in interface mode. Now, when I go to interface mode, I want to make sure that I do not have my preset active. I want to make sure that that is deactivated. So I'm not hearing the preset within Tonex pedal stacked upon the preset within Tonex software. Now, the way that we work with Tonex pedal as an interface, we're now going to have to come over to Tonex software click here and change our output device and our input device or otherwise change our audio interface that is feeding into Tonex software and we're monitoring from to Tonex, so Tonex pedal. So I'm going to do just that. I'm gonna switch this over. And now what we're doing is we are still using Tonex software, but we are using Tonex pedal as an interface. So we're not actually hearing the tone model that's being played off of Tonex pedal. Now the one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we come down here before we do anything so things sound as we want them to and we want to match the input here in the bottom left corner to whatever we have our input trim set to on our pedal. So in my case it's minus three. I'm not telling you where to set this just make sure it matches so that we hear what we expect. If I come in here and crank this up I'm gonna hear something I don't want to and maybe even get some clipping. So I'm gonna bring that down to minus three and then I'm gonna forget about it. So basically now what we're doing is we're still utilizing Tonex software to make our changes. but Tonex pedal is acting as our interface. So basically we can do all the same things there. In this case, we would still make our adjustments within Tonex software, just being plugged into the pedal and possibly monitoring on whatever monitoring solution we like to use with our Tonex pedal. Maybe it's an FRFR or the new Tonex cab. And again, whatever we save here, we then could come over to the library. We would save it, find it in our software library and transfer it to our pedal if we so desire. Now, obviously the other workflow is to work solely and completely inside side of Tonex Editor without a separate audio interface, without Tonex software at all. And this is the way that most folks probably would want to work 
with Tonex Editor. So we have our Tonex pedal hooked up. I'm gonna come up to Global Settings now, and I'm gonna come to the General tab, and I'm gonna change this from Interface to Live Mode. So in this particular situation now, we are no longer going to be using Tonex software at all. So I'm actually going to just take Tonex Editor here and come right over so that that's all we see up on our screen. So now what we can do is we can still access our entire Tonex software library here and go through all of our folders that we have. But in this case, what we're going to be hearing is our guitar plugged into Tonex pedal and Tonex Pedal will do all the processing now. Tonex Software is out of the equation. Now what you'll find is if you turn your guitar up and try to play, you're gonna get something like that. Now you might go, well, why is that? Well, we haven't re-engaged the preset. All we're hearing is our guitar plugged into Tonex Pedal and it's not being processed by anything, but we're hearing our DI guitar. So if I engage the preset, We're now going to be listening to whatever is selected over here on this side of the librarian. If I want to go to the delay preset I set up. But we can make whatever changes we want to this. Maybe we want a little more feedback on the delay. And we can hear that we have that. We can then go up and save that to our pedal and have that always on our pedal. So now we would be working just within the pedal. So basically those are the different workflows we have. But the beautiful part about having the librarian separate is we can actually do things like this where we actually do a split screen with the software and have access to that librarian tab always on screen instead of having to switch from our home tab so it's always accessible. So that is a positive to it. So I just wanted to throw that out there just in case it does help some folks. I do understand it does take a little bit of getting used to when we are used to a certain way of working, but I do think that if we come up with new ways to work with this, it actually will turn out to be a really great way to work. That's the way I've been doing things with this and I found it to be quite handy and I hope you do too. I hope I was clear in explaining those three different scenarios and how we can utilize Tonex software software with an external audio interface or utilizing Tonex pedal with an audio interface or making our edits right on Tonex pedal. I think there's a lot of flexibility now and I hope that that was enjoyable. I'm going to leave you today with the full-blown demo video for this new collection that I've just recently released, the Kraken Ultimate and DI collection based off of the Victory VX, the Kraken Mark I amplifier. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. There are links in the description to where you can get this collection and if you decide to grab that, I hope you enjoy the tones. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content. I'll be back very soon with some more. Ciao for now.